Paul from Derby Evolution. Um, today I'm going to do a quick video on how to create a car shipping box. Um, so when you order a shipping box, uh, it's gonna you're gonna receive it. It's gonna look like this. It's already gonna be folded. Inside you're gonna have two pieces of foam. You're gonna have a top piece, and then you're going to have the bottom piece. Now these pieces are not cut out for your car or whatnot, you're going to have to cut them out. And I'm going to show you a quick way to do it with very uh, basic tools. No routers, no drill presses, no anything. We're just going to use a razor blade, a ruler, um, and some glue. So, first thing first, um, we're going to take this foam piece and we're going to take this your car and we're going to set it in the center of the foam. Kind of center it, front to back, up, down, something like that. So as once you've got it centered in there, then you're going to take a pencil or pen, whatever type of writing utensil you want to use, um, and we're going to trace the outline of the car into the foam. So a couple things you have to make sure of. First, you hold the car in the same place so uh, it doesn't move while you're tracing it, and then also. You, you're going to want a snug fit, so you're going to kind of angle the tip of the pencil so it's at least on the inside of the perimeter of the car when you're tracing it. Tracing it. So we're just going to come and we're going to follow along. And the wheels, we're not really worried about the wheel portion. We'll do that here in a second. Oops. And if you mess up. So, I'll set the car on that top foam, and I don't know if you'll be able to see this much, but you'll see that we have a little bit of an outline of the car here. Okay, so next, what we're going to do is we're going to take a razor blade, and you can see this is not a fancy razor blade. This is a dirty, cheap, probably wore out um, razor blade, um, but I like it because we can adjust the, the length of the actual blade. So. We're just going to adjust it uh, to where the length of the blade is roughly uh, a quarter of an inch. Um, that is about a half an inch. And we'll click it in one time and that gives us just right about a quarter inch. So, what we're going to do here is we're going to lock that blade in position. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to just cut down the outline. And we don't have to worry about the, the spot where the wheels are. You can see I drew kind of straight lines out to where the wheels are. Because we're going to completely remove that spot um, later. So, basically we're just going to take that razor blade and we're going to cut it down in. Make sure you follow your trace lines. of it um, just so we can you know don't have to spend so much time listening to me on the camera so all right here we've pretty much cut the uh, trace of the car now here's where it gets fun so here we have uh, a square um, you can use a square you can use a ruler you can use nothing if you if you don't want to I just like to use a square um, so I, that I can get a nice even cut down the center. So we're going to cut this block now in half. And it doesn't have to be exact, um, but so once you make that first cut, it should be fairly easy to come down through and just continue the cut. You won't need that anymore. You can see that we're, we're cutting it down the center. And we're going to cut it all the way down and all the way through. So you should have something that ends up like that. Got it? Okay, so 
Now, if you look under the sides of these, uh, you can see kind of the depth of where our trace mark is. So, this is going to help us out a little bit here um, when we do this because now we know how deep we need to go down um, and across so that we can get this whole center section out. So, let's cut out the, the area for the wheels. So, we have the lines here and we're just going to come in here and push down and we're going to cut those all the way out. So it's going to go all the way down to the bottom, cut, cut, and all the way through, and then we got to cut here. So we're just going to take this square out. You keep on moving it up higher. All right, so that piece is gone. Don't need it anymore. The back, you're going to do the cut here all the way down. Okay, and then we're going to go straight out the back. So we're going to cut all the way down. So it's going to look something like that. Okay? Now I'll do the other side real quick. And this is, like I said, but I should have used a brand new blade. Would have made things a lot cleaner. Okay, so now we have the two pieces that now look like that. If we put them back together, and you can see if we set the car back on it, uh, those areas are cut out around where the wheels are. Okay, so that's what we're looking for. So now we can come in here, and there's a couple ways you can do it. You can take your ruler, and you can come in here, and this is probably the easiest way to do it um, because it gives you an actual line. You just draw a line from your cut down marks across and you can kind of see it in there it's a little little difficult to see but then you're just going to take your razor blade and you're just going to come in here and make cuts to remove that center section so can you see it it's going to peel right back Okay, so you can see that we're getting really close to the center section here of coming all the way through. So, this is where you kind of have to finesse it and only go as deep as you need it to go um, to, to get the cut to your edges. So, So now you see we removed that section and now we have the rough cutout of our car here. And like I said, the cleaner, the, the sharper the blade, the cleaner you can make your cuts uh, and whatnot. But this is going to give you a rough idea on how to do it. So move that one out. Okay, so we got that piece out there, but now if we put these two pieces together, you can see we have the cut out of the car. So all we have to do at this point is glue these together. But before you do that, I like to take the car 
and make sure that it kind of snaps in place there. Okay, so it's pretty close, pretty good. And you can see when we glue it together, it's going to be nice and snug. And it's going to hold that car down in there nice and flat. It's not going to let it move side to side, front to back. We have the, you know, the cutouts here, so it sits nice and flat. The nose is down. And boom, we have the clearance on our wheels. We'll probably trim a little bit more here, um, a little bit more around some of the other wheels. But that's what you're going to want to do. You're just going to want to kind of trim it after that to... Uh, to make it, you know, perfectly fit, nice and snug. It needs a little more cut right there. To glue it back together, I just like to use uh, Gorilla Super Glue. Uh, it's a great uh, super glue gel, um, and it works awesome. Works awesome in this, on these foams. So just run a bead all the way across. matter of seconds it'll be bonded Oops. and like I said there's a lot of little little pieces of foam but that was due to the, the blade that I was using not being very sharp and it tearing it rather than cutting it. If you use a nice, sharp, uh, high quality blade, it's gonna make those cuts a lot nicer uh, and then you're gonna have a nice finished product. But here, they're now glued together. Um, and so we're gonna take the car. I always slide the nose in first and kind of pull it. And there you go. You got a car that is nice and secure in your shipping box, in your foam. So then you take your foam, slide it in the box, you look and see there, that car is nice and snug in there. Then what you do, is you take your top piece, you set it right there on top, and this is the way I do it, is I set the car right on the top, right in the center, take my glue, Run a little bead across there and make sure it's centered. Close the lid, hold it down for a second, let it cure to the or bond to that foam or the cardboard, and voila, now you have your foam stuck to the top. You know it's in the center of the car. You know when you close your box, the car's not going anywhere couple ways you can do this here. Just put a piece of tape, packaging tape over it. You can put rubber bands around it. Uh, Velcro straps work really good. Uh, but that's how you make a quick car carrying box with minimal tools. Obviously you can get a lot better quality job with more quality tools, um, but not everybody has access to routers, uh, drill presses, and different bits. So if you don't, this is an awesome way to do it. Your car is going to arrive safe to race, uh, very cheap alternative to uh, shipping your cars. So anyways, hope this was useful for you guys and uh, hope to see you on the track. Take care.